ओके मजा साहब थैंक यू गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू दीम विच हैज बीन असाइन टू मी टूडे फॉर डिस्कशन विथ ऑल ऑफ यू इज द एम्पावरमेंट ऑफ ट्राइबल्स इन इंडिया द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल प्रोविजन्स एंड द रियालिटीज यू नो इंडिया कंसिस्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कम्युनिटीज different kinds of <coughs> ethnicities akanksha anush tiwari is requested to mute akama <coughs> i i request all of you to mute your mic so that there is no disturbance aa sab ek aakanksha anuj tiwari hain unko mute kar dijiye aur thoda dekhiye kai log jo hain हाँ वो, वो उनके यहां से आवाज आ रही है अच्छी बात फ्रेंड्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू विल म्यूट यू विल गेट ए टर्न टू स्पीक और टू आस्क क्वेश्चन टू मेक कॉमेंट्स एट द एंड ऑफ द लेक्चर इन द बिगिनिंग in in between you can ask me any question if you have otherwise you should uh, mute your mic so that there is no disturbance for the class one person's uh, misuse of the freedom to unmute may disturb all other persons that is why uh, it is better to listen what i am going to speak on the empowerment of tribals now i was saying india is not like some of the european countries say for example england you, you take the example of england in england there are three kinds of people the british the scottish and the wales very few minor minor differences are there between them 90% of them are you know uh, anglican anglican means protestant protestant christians only in northern ireland <coughs> which is also part of england you have catholic community but mostly christian community the same may be the case in other european countries you have common language everybody speaks the same language they have common history they have common religion that is why they established nation states india is totally different india is very diverse in terms of religions there are eight major religious groups communities or people having faith in eight different religions all the major religions of the world the followers of them are found in india including judaism including buddhism jainism sikhism christianity islam hinduism 
<coughs> among Hindus, again, different subsects, different denominations, Arya Samajis, uh, then you have Lingayats in, in Karnataka. They are Hindus. There are Hindu tribals. There are Christian tribals. You have different ethnicities. You have Aryan race, Dravidian race, and Mongolite race. Like in European countries, one language is not spoken. Here, we do not know how many languages are spoken in India. Some reports from the Linguistic Commissioner of India says 1000 languages are spoken, many of which do not have script. They are only dialects, whereas the Constitution of India recognizes only 22 languages. Only 22 languages in the Constitution of India in 8th schedule are recognized. It means India is multi religious, multicultural. Sometimes you may also call multinational. Different cultures coexist in India, different ethnic groups coexist in India. On the one hand, the Constitution of India talks about individual rights. Every citizen has certain fundamental rights in the Constitution. Besides that, you know, the distinction between Indian Constitution or Indian system of governance with that of the European states is that we also have in the constitution what is known as the framework of group rights, community rights, apart from duties, duties of all the, all the citizens, groups like minorities, like tribal communities, like Dalit communities, like women, like children, you know, these groups also have rights. Now, if you want to discuss about empowerment, what do you mean by empowerment? First of all, we have to discuss about empowerment. Empowerment means giving power to the people. Of course, the Constitution of India, in the preamble itself, Prastavana, which is known as Prastavana, Indian Constitution, as you know, is the largest constitution in the world. Nearly, it has 400 articles. Nearly, it occupies 400 pages. Very difficult to remember all the, all the articles. If you are not able to read the entire constitution, at least you should read the first page of the constitution. The first page of the constitution is known as preamble prastavana in hindi which is like an introduction which is like an abstract of a research paper which gives you an idea of what kind of india we would like to build after India became independent, after we got the constitution. It's a very uh, brief preamble which defines what we understand by empowerment. It says, we the people of India, that is, first of all, sovereignty of the state, Prabhu, Prabhu Satta of the government or the state, does not reside with the parliament, prime minister, president, council of ministers. It resides with the people of India. People are sovereign. That is, you know, first indication of empowerment. That is, people are everything because they elect their government periodically. We are sovereign. India, we have constituted India into a sovereign state, a socialist state, 
a secular state, a democratic state, a republican state. That is, we have a sovereign state, socialist, that is, socialism is there, welfare of all, exploitation of people will not be tolerated by the state. State is secular. Secular means state has no religion. State is neutral in terms of religion. It is a different matter that the present national government of Modi has deviated from this neutrality. We have the majoritarian attitude. A particular religion is preferred. We are democratic. We are republic. Republic means the head of the state is elected by the people of India. England is not republic because head of the state, queen or king are not elected by the people there. Now, this constitution wants to achieve justice, social justice, economic justice, political justice for all its people. It wants to achieve liberty of thought, equality, expression, faith and worship. You know, the three famous phrases which emerged after the French Revolution, liberty, equality, fraternity. These three terms are found in the preamble, liberty, equality, and fraternity. Equality as of status and opportunity. Fraternity means brotherhood, unity among all the people. And the people consist of different communities, as I mentioned. And one of the important communities is the tribal communities. Now, today's lecture, we are going to discuss, in the today's lecture, we are going to discuss the issue of empowerment of the tribal communities. And the tribal communities in India is not a homogeneous, homogeneous group. As per the last census, the last census was conducted in 2011. <clears throat> 2021 census has not been conducted because of COVID. We have data from the last census. According to 2011 census, in India, we have 10 crore tribal population. 10 crore means nearly 100 million, which is in proportion to the overall population of India is only 8.26 percent. In 1950, it was 7.5 percent tribal population has been increasing. Now, India is considered as having the second largest tribal population in the world after Africa. Please remember, in Africa, there are 53 countries. In African continent, 53 countries are there. India is only one country, India is only one state, one nation state. In India, we are having nearly 10 crore, 100 million tribal population who live in forest, who live a secluded life. Their ethnicity is different, their language is different, their culture is different. Their food habits are different. Their religion is different. Some of them, they worship trees, mountains. They worship rivers. They can worship anything. And they say they are not Hindus. Some Christian missionaries are 
working with the tribals because they are very poor. They do not have adequate healthcare facilities, employment facilities, education facilities. They are in the remote areas. They are in the forest area. There are there are a lot of lot of problems with them. <coughs> they have not been properly integrated with the mainstream. The, the government of India has got a tribal ministry. The, the government of India, in every state, wherever the tribal population is there, governor has been given special powers to look into their problems, to resolve their problems. Many schemes of tribal integrated tribal development projects have been introduced in different states despite many efforts and 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 more or the most important the most important uh, provision which we will elaborate in due course the most important you can say the of 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 empowerment the most important principle of empowerment of the tribals is the affirmative action. Affirmative action means reservation provisions. Three kinds of reservations have been given to the scheduled tribes, also to the scheduled castes in the Indian constitution. These three reservations are, number one, legislative representation, parliament, reservation in the parliament, reservation in the assembly, reservations in local governments, panchayats, urban governments, municipalities, corporations, that is number one, number one reservation. Number two reservation, for scheduled tribes is that they are given proportional proportional reservation in educational institutions including in medical colleges in engineering colleges technical courses professional courses 7.5 percentage of reservation is available to them and the third reservation is the job reservation. Government jobs, central or state government jobs, are reserved proportionately. That is 7.5% of government jobs are reserved for them. You know, these are the concrete measures, special measures to empower the marginalized tribal communities. And above all, there is a National Commission for Scheduled Tribes. Like there is a National Commission for Scheduled Castes. There is a National Commission for Human Rights, National Commission for Children, National Commission for Women, National Commission for Minorities, National Commission for Backward Classes. Among all these commissions, it is only the National Commission for Scheduled Castes or Scheduled Tribes and, and, and Scheduled Tribes, not or, and. Only these two commissions are constitutional bodies. Constitutional bodies means Constitution of India has created these two bodies. National Commission for Scheduled Castes, National Commission for Scheduled Tribes. Whatever guarantees are mentioned in the Constitution of India towards these people, whatever constitutional protection is provided to these people, whether those protections are available, not available, violated, discriminated, the people of this group 
that is scheduled tribes can make complaints to that national commission for scheduled tribes you can go to the court but court is very expensive in the court you need lawyer you need uh, fees time consuming court takes a lot of time whereas national commission for scheduled tribe will hear the case expeditiously and sympathetically because most of the time 99 percentage of the time nowadays at least at least at least today at least in recent years the chairman of the national commission for scheduled tribe is a tribal person earlier brahmins used to be appointed during during nehru's period nowadays we appoint normally a person from their own community so that discrimination is not done at least in in case of appointments and the national commission for scheduled tribe is mandated to submit every year one annual report what it has done what it has not done how it has solved the problems of scheduled tribes what compensation it recommended to the government whether the government accepted the recommendations or not you know all these activities are done as per the constitution of india friends with this brief introduction about the mechanism the provisions of empowerment of tribals now i will first devote some 10 minutes on the most important aspect of empowerment is to give rights fundamental rights human rights to all the citizens plus special rights extra rights extra provisions of group protection which i just now mentioned the reservation provisions for empowering the marginalized tribal community the constitution of india borrows the the western european model of you know providing human rights to all the citizens indian constitution as part 3 you know the constitution is having many parts some 22 parts are there in the constitution there are 22 parts sections you can say as i said it is the largest constitution in the world many people haven't read it i had a i had a teacher in my college who used to say in the classroom in ba my political science teacher he used to say that one should read the constitution of india before one dies marne se pehle har vyakti ko har student ko constitution of india padhni chahiye in ba second year i i challenged his statement i said sir you are saying wrong thing why should we read the constitution of india before we die you should say like this that we should read the constitution of india if you want to lead a life if you want to lead a good life if you want to be a good citizen what is the use of reading the constitution before one dies before one starts a good life one should read the constitution uh, 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 there was there was a, uh, a prominent uh, politician from bjp and a minister in atal bihari vajpayee's government his name was pramod mahajan pramod mahajan once he uh, made a interesting statement in the parliament when he said that 
90 percentage of members of parliament and members of legislative assemblies are seeing the constitution of india for the first time in their life when they take oath of office it is so shocking you are supposed to read the constitution you are supposed to know the constitution but who has time nobody has time nobody has interest some of the members of parliament are Ill illiterate they can't read the constitution of india now it is incumbent upon all the citizens to know what rights they have got the most important part in fact uh, uh, you know such a big constitution <coughs> having around 400 articles Once the constitution was ready, Ambedkar was asked a question. Out of these 400 articles, Mr. Ambedkar, which is the most important article? He said, Article 32. Article 32 allows and you know enables every citizen of India to move the Supreme Court and High Court if his or her fundamental rights are violated. अगर आपके ह्यूमन राइट्स जो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में दिए गए हैं आर्टिकल 12 से लेके 32 32 तक इफ देयर राइट्स आर डिनाइड वायलेटेड अब्रिज्ड देन यू कैन गो डायरेक्टली टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया बिकॉज़ आर्टिकल 32 प्रोवाइड्स मेनी रिट्स हेबियस कॉर्पस रिट व्हिच मींस इफ यू आर अरेस्टेड you should be produced before the magistrate within 24 hours with body mind and soul that is there should be no torture arresting person is a police is an executive he may misuse the power we have separation of powers theory legislature is separate judiciary is separate executive is separate independent and there is checks and balances if one organ misuses the power the other organ of the government checks controls tells the other body that you are misusing the constitution misusing your power exceeding your jurisdiction now you know uh, these fundamental rights most important fundamental equality all are equal non discrimination nobody should be discriminated article 15 article 16 when you get a government job all should be treated equal of course here one exceptional clause has been added that any reservation to scheduled caste scheduled tribe or any other backward class should not be treated as violating the principle of equality it is reservation is known as positive equality positive one is negative equality negative equality one is positive equality negative equality means all should be treated equal who is in front of you you should not give any thought no special privileges for rich people privileged people higher caste people prime minister president they are also equal in the eyes of law that is negative equality if somebody is not equal in terms of caste in, ter in terms of economic status in terms of social status then special measures for uplifting those people have to be introduced in the form of preferential policies affirmative action reservation provision so that they are you know getting an opportunity to become equal in in the state in society and untouchability has been abolished another another article you, you cannot practice untouchability with regard to scheduled castes 
or the tribal communities. Of course, the tribal communities do not face, face this problem. Various freedoms in Article 19 are given freedom of speech, freedom to criticize government, freedom of assembly, freedom to form association, freedom to reside in any part of India, freedom to protest without violence. You know, these fundamental freedoms are guaranteed to all the citizens. Article 21 talks about right to life. Everyone has right to life. It can be denied only through due process of law. Now, Article 21A has been added. Every child should be provided free and compulsory education up to 14 years of age. This article was introduced in 2000. Law was passed in 2009, Right to Education Act. In 2010, this act has come into ex uh, you know, force. That is, implementation began. Implementation began from 2010 to provide free compulsory education for all. Human beings trafficking is prohibited, child labor is prohibited, bonded labor is prohibited. That is slavery. It is, it's a kind of slavery. Bonded labor is a kind of slavery. Bandhua Mazdoor. Many tribals are Bandhua Mazdoor. Many scheduled castes are Bandhua Mazdoor. Bonded labor. No salary is given. Because the father had taken loan from the landlord or a rich person. He was unable to pay back the loan. He gives his son in return to do whatever work he assigns, the, the master assigns as a bonded labor. It is it is begari. Begari means no salary is given for, for the work. Food is given, shelter is given, clothes are given, but no additional income. Freedom of religion, Article 25, everyone is having this important freedom. You can manage your own religious affairs. Taxpayers' money should not be used for the construction of temple, construction of mosque, construction of church, synagogue. That is another right. Every minority, whether religious, cultural, linguistic, tribal can establish their own educational institutions as per article 30 of the indian constitution article 29 says that every group has to maintain its language script culture it can protect its own culture you know, this is the constitutional framework of fundamental rights. Now, the constitution of India, according to the constitution of India, all the citizens have to be given these rights. Additionally, extra rights are mentioned, extra provisions are mentioned in the constitution of India for the tribal communities. Tribal communities have distinct language, distinct culture, distinct religion, distinct food habits, distinct art, handicrafts, music, festivals. You know, they 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 uh, uh, they, they, they they are known as uh, in India sometimes Adivasis in Indian Indian language. Adivasis actually means. <laughs> Original citizens. Adivasis means original citizens. Not, not you should not call them as uh, recently who called uh, somebody called uh, 
हेमंत सोरेन एज एज ए वनवासी वनवासी मीन्स द पीपल हु लिव इन फॉरेस्ट जंगली फॉरेस्ट डवेलर दैट इज डिरोगेटरी यू शुड नॉट यूज दीज काइंड ऑफ वर्ड्स नाउ द ओरिजिनल इंडियंस ओरिजिनल इनहेबिटेंट्स ऑफ द नेशन एज 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 यू हैव इन इन नॉर्दर्न अमेरिका इंडिजीनियस पॉपुलेशन ओरिजिनल यू नो रेसिडेंट्स कोलंबस who wanted to come to india for trade for spices by mistake he went to the united states of america he thought it is india that is why the the local people were called as red indians <coughs> europeans are fair in color the indigenous population is brown if not black they are not totally black like like africans now when the europeans went in canada in america in australia in new zealand they gradually pushed uh, back the indigenous people the original uh, original citizens living there they had different language different culture different uh, uh, style of living their land was snatched their property was taken away by the colonial people by the immigrants and they remain backward they remain poor and in 2007 in 2007 the united nations general assembly recognizing the plight the condition of these indigenous population has passed a declaration united nations declaration on the rights of indigenous people 2007 after 14 years of debate and discussion in the general assembly which grants many rights to these tribal people because the tribal people according to that declaration are having sovereignty over their natural resources you know uh, in india also wherever the tribals are there whether they are in jharkhand whether they are in uh, hill stations uh, uh you know there are a lot of minerals fresh water forest reserves and ecologically excellent place you can lead a good life there but due to this urbanization capitalist uh, expansion encroachment in the forest area is taking place mineral resources of the tribal areas are being exploited but the proceeds of those uh minerals are not being used for the benefit of the tribal people that was the reason why there was a demand for uttarakhand state because up was not spending adequate money on the development of hill people some of them are tribals in uttarakhand in jharkhand there was a demand for jharkhand state mineral resources coal mines steel plants were there in this area jamshedpur tata was having a steel plant but the proceeds of those resources were not spent on the welfare of the people uh, of you know uh, 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 engineers from other areas will come because the tribals are not educated they are not uh, engineers local people are not getting employment local people are not getting education local people are not getting health facilities education social security that is why because of that denial naxalite movement originated in india many rich people are having land 
ट्राइबल शेड्यूल कास्ट डू नॉट हैव लैंड देर वॉज अ डिमांड फॉर छत्तीसगढ़ स्टेट सेपरेट छत्तीसगढ़ स्टेट कार्ड आउट ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश फुल ऑफ ट्राइबल पीपल यू नो ट्राइबल्स डू नॉट आर नॉट कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड ओनली इन छत्तीसगढ़ ओनली इन झारखंड ओनली इन उत्तराखंड दे आर स्प्रेड इन ऑल पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया समथिंग लाइक फाइव हंड्रेड डिफरेंट ट्राइबल कम्युनिटीज आर एग्जिस्टिंग इन इंडिया एज पर देंस ऑफ इंडिया each tribe is different the language in karnataka you are having tribal population in andhra pradesh you are having tribal population in jammu and kashmir also you have tribal population and some of the tribes you will be surprised to know are muslims in in jammu and kashmir in other parts of india they are not muslims they are not always hindus their culture is different for i i will just give you an example I, i think i will give you two examples to understand their culture you know some of the tribes i'm forgetting uh, which is the tribe either uh, gonda gonda tribe or some other tribe they have a very peculiar system of marriage in that tribe there is a practice that a marriageable person a person of marriageable age has to find out his own bride girlfriend who is also of marriageable age and he the boy has to kidnap the girl and disappear from that tribe for one year then come back after one year with a child then the marriage is solemnized very interesting lot of equality exists among these tribal communities women are, women are not exploited women women sometimes are head of the family in 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 northeastern state in meghalaya there are many tribes garu tribe khasi tribes are there woman is the boss after marriage of the tribal boys and girls the girl does not leave the house of parents it is the boy who leaves the parents house and joins his wife because they have matrilineal system matrilineal means we we, we 90% of india is having patrilineal system patrilineal means father is important father's property goes to the sons whereas in northeast it is matrilineal system property owner owner of the property is woman and the property is distributed only among girls boys do not get the property recently last week i think last week uh, 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 uttarakhand government passed uniform civil code civil code is concerned with marriage divorce inheritance succession adoption adoption means adopting a child if if the if the child is not there in the family if the wife has not given birth to the child you you adopt a child adoption maintenance in case of divorce who will maintain the wife marriage divorce inheritance succession adoption and maintenance these are the areas of law which deals with personal laws personal family family laws these are known as family laws now bjp is doing politics trying to unite hindus that we will introduce uniform civil code 
one law for everybody regarding what marriage divorce inheritance succession adoption and maintenance six areas of personal life since india is secular these laws are based on the religion of a particular community there is a hindu law hindu code bill hindu marriage act hindu succession act hindu adoption act hindu maintenance act four acts are there for muslims muslim personal law sharia act for christians christian law for jews jewish law state has not interfered in the personal laws of the family now now when 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 you want to have uniform civil code you will go for monogamy monogamy means one wife one husband neither the husband will be allowed to have second wife or third wife or fourth wife or woman will be allowed to have second husband or third husband like like pandavas panch pandava and one draupadi five husbands one wife polyandry that is known as polyandry you know uh, some of the tribals follow the polyandry also some of the tribal people are following polygamy it is wrong to say it is factually incorrect to say that muslims in india are having more than one wife or going for bigamy modi government sometimes propagates bjp propagates muslims are having four wives it is factually incorrect because for 1000 men 1000 women are not available in indian society sex ratio is there in haryana the problem is very serious for 1000 haryanavis 1000 haryanavi women are not available women are less in in number how how can we believe that muslims are having more than one wife according to census data number 1 in india a community which is number 1 in india which allows or are are actually having are practicing bigamy as per census data it is not the muslim community it is the jain community number 1 number 2 is the tribals many tribes men are having i, I remember one 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 african in, in sudan there was one uh, chief of the tribe he had 40 wives 40 40 40 like like a king but it is it is a practice not everybody will have chief of the tribe in african in one of the african african countries you know you have these kind of distinct characteristics distinct cultural practices and 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 the, and the tribals are very very innocent very community oriented they want the welfare of everybody they 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 have a uh, 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 great bonds of kinship 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 means uh, um, kin i don't know how to call it is natedari 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 yes natedari because my 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 hindi is not that good i am i am from south india i am from karnataka you know kinship is very important i i, I will give you an example i i saw once a film a hindi film about the tribes the main character of the film raghuveer yadav from from bihar a very good actor he goes to a doctor and says doctor saab i am having pain in my stomach then he asks what what did you eat yesterday he explains uh, i ate ordinary food then his uh, blood was tested and all and then doctor says you have got stomach uh, stomach uh, infection because you are drinking water which is infected 
you are not drinking clean water and you know he says sir i am i am doctor sir i am drinking water from my lake from my lake then doctor gives him some medicine some tablets take for 2 3 days one in the morning one in the afternoon or in the evening in 3 4 days you will be all right then the actor says doctor sir give me 1000 tablets he asks why doctor sir all our uh, fellow tribesmen drink water from the lake probably that lake lake's water is uh, uh, you know having bacteria i will put all these 1000 tablets in the lake so that the water becomes pure pure bacteria free and people will not fall sick like me you know they they have this 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 community feeling natedari community feeling welfare of all in 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 african tribe uh, you know there is a concept called ubuntu ubuntu means welfare of all always the tribe tribesmen think about the welfare of everybody in in the in the tribal community you know these special features needs to be protected needs to be respected we should not impose on them the western model western model of individualism that is individual is important no community is important in the tribal community community family chief you know these are these are these are very important uh, friends now the government of india in the light of the constitution of india to empower the tribals has taken certain measures as i mentioned the three kinds of reservations the reservations as i mentioned are in parliament in assemblies equal representation job reservation reservation in educational institutions many people have a confusion that this reservation was temporary and constitution of india had given it for only 10 years <laughs> obviously you know we are not aware of the legal uh, uh, legal provisions even our one of the prime ministers of india was also having this misconception mr atul bihari was a highly read person once he delivered a speech from the red fort on 15th august saying that if i think it was in 2004 if i am reelected at 2003 sorry 2003 if i am reelected i will extend reservation for another 10 years job reservation and educational reservation in educational institutions atul bihari vajpayee was totally wrong this 10 year restriction was only for parliamentary reservation and assembly reservation or in the original constitution it was for 10 years in 1960 it was amended and again extended for 10 years again and again the constitution has been amended and 10 year extension is given for political reservation political representation now the current reservation will end in 2030 that is political reservation whereas the job reservation and reservation in educational institutions is introduced in india through government order go government order was issued by pandit nehru's government in on 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 uh, 26th after 26th january 1950 when the constitution of india entered into force it said proportional reservation for scheduled tribes and scheduled castes will be there in educational institutions and in government jobs duration is not mentioned the time up to which period is not mentioned it is uh, it can be 30 years it can be 40 years it can be 100 years it can be 200 years the moment but 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 it is it is a temporary temporary measure the moment equality is achieved in the society then finally 
reservation provisions have to be withdrawn. That is what the jurisprudence says, the, the, the law says. The philosophy of the law says. Because if you make reservation a permanent feature, then you are introducing inequality. That is that is the law. But anyway, in the last 70 years, we have not succeeded to bring scheduled caste and scheduled tribes equal to the other communities. It means we need some more years. There, there is a there is a problem in this regard. An elite among the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes has emerged. If father has become IS officer, if father has become minister and chief minister, son also becomes chief minister. P. A. Sangma in Meghalaya was chief minister. His son is chief minister now. I had advanced an argument in, in, in I had given a policy suggestion to the government of India, but the government of India is not interested because you know, the members of parliament from these reserved category will not approve of that policy. That that policy is that why give reservation to the second generation? If the father has availed reservation, the son should not be given, the daughter should not be given reservation. Why not give reservation to another, another scheduled tribe or another scheduled caste? So that the cake of reservation is spread in the society equitably. In the name of reservation, you have created more inequality among the affected people, among the affected communities. That suggestion I had given long ago. Many, many other scholars like me have also given, given suggestions, but the government is not serious because you have 7.5 plus 15 percentage scheduled Cast and then 7.5. These people will never approve your policies in the when it comes to the voting, and also the government doesn't want to lose their support, their votes. That is why this kind of suggestion is not accepted by by the state. Now, friends, I will come. Uh, th th this is all a, a, a broad, general, you know. Um, him about the tribal communities. Now my next 15, 20 minutes will be devoted for the realities, the ground realities. The harsh realities, the violations of the rights of the people, tribal people. What kind of violations are taking place of, of, of the rights of the people? Economically, they are very poor. Educationally, they are very poor. Very few educational institutions have been established for them. There is recently central government established Indira Gandhi Tribal University in Amarkant in Madhya Pradesh. Very few high quality educational institutions, schools, Kendri Vidyalayas. Now the Vidyalayas in the tribal areas are established. As a result, in the 50s and 60s and 70s, in the first 30 years after the constitution of India entered into force, tribal representation in UPSC examination, IAS, IPS, IFS, the quota was not filled. For scheduled caste and scheduled tribes, the quota was not filled. Why? Because the educated people were not there. You have to compete. You have to come. You have to pass BA, BA, BSc, become minimum qualification is graduation for appearing in the UPSC examination. And also, you should get minimum marks. You should pass the personality test interview. In interview, also, you should pass because you see. Uh, till 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 1977, when the Morarji Desai government was established and Indira Gandhi was defeated in the elections, 
till 1977 everybody had to write their answers for upsc examination in english not in indian languages murarji desai introduced a policy change that students should be allowed to write in indian languages upsc examination only in those languages which are listed in 8th schedule of the indian constitution 22 languages are there linguistic commissioner of india says more than 1000 languages are spoken in india but constitution recognizes only 22 languages in which you have you know some of the languages are uh, 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 official languages of the government tamil is language which is official language in tamil nadu in karnataka kannada language malayali in uh, kerala hindi in north indian states manipuri in manipur manipur kashmiri language in kashmir sanskrit also is there but sanskrit is not not spoken out of these 22 languages as a result now you, you, you can write your answers in in in, in your language more and more people are able to get selected in upsc because you, you you are good in your own mother tongue this is this is number one number two problem is lot of poverty exists in among the tribes and these tribal people take loan from money lender and the money lender charges huge interest i was reading once a case in the you know if 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 you want to know if you want to know how many rights of tribals are how many tribals you know are are facing the problem or their rights are violated or atrocities have been committed against them you should read the reports of nhrc national commission for human rights national commission for scheduled tribes how many women are you know paraded naked tribal women look at manipur what is happening in manipur more than 100 kuki tribals are killed women are raped women are paraded naked in manipur the prime minister has not made any statement special vote of no confidence was there to make in the parliament to make prime minister make a statement he did not visit manipur you have lot of atrocities by higher caste people their land is encroached tribal land is encroached in uh, many states if you read the reports of national commission for you know in when when atal bihari was pai was prime minister of the country many churches were attacked because majority of the tribal people in india have converted to christianity christian missionaries are working with them providing hospital facilities providing educational facilities providing help and due to the influence of christian missionaries they become you know christian they convert conversion to another religion they are living their own original religion whatever the, if it was hinduism they are living hinduism if, they, it, if it was a, a tribal religion they are living the tribal religion and becoming christian during atal bihari vajpayee's time many christian missionaries were attacked you you, you have heard about graham stains graham stain along with his young sons were burnt alive in odisha 
you know, such kind of atrocities are committed. The Constitution of India under Article 25 allows you to profess a religion, practice a religion, propagate a religion. Article 25 of the Indian Constitution allows for change of religion. <coughs> religion is a personal matter. You can you can be an atheist. You can become Muslim. You can become Christian. You can become Buddhist. You can become Jain. Conversion is very much part of Indian parampara, Indian history. Ashoka the Great converted to Buddhism after Kalinga War. This idea of conversion is not a biblical idea. It's not. It hasn't come from Middle East. It hasn't come from the Middle Eastern religions like Islam, Christianity. Chandragupta Maurya. Chandragupta Maurya, who was appointed as a king by Chanakya of Patliputra. In later life, he renounces Hinduism and converts to Jainism. Chandragupta Maurya, you know, uh, converted to Jainism and he goes to Karnataka and he dies there. It is very much part of Indian culture, Indian parampara, Indian heritage. And if you want to become Hindu, you cannot become Hindu. If you want to become Hindu, you have to be born in a Hindu family. Hinduism is not a proselytizing religion. Proselytizing means you cannot convert other people to Hinduism. It is unique. Radha Krishna says Hinduism is not a religion. It is a way of life. You are trying to make Hinduism like Semitic, Semitic religions. Like Judaism, Christianity, Islam. One book, one holy place. Like, like, like this Ayodhya. Ayodhya, one holy place. No. Hinduism is... Hinduism is pluralism, pluralistic. If you are non-believer, then also you are a Hindu. This is one attack on, you know. So I think, sir, you, you, sir, you one have, question. Uh, just yes, please. Yes, please. I think, sir, you are uh, you divert in our uh, lecture. Mm. So your lecture. I, I was talking about atrocities. I am not diverting, I am not uh, digressing. Sure, it is freedom of religion is one of the fundamental rights. You are free to convert to another religion also. If you feel your conscience is allowing, uh, uh, you know, one, one law has been passed. Let me let me discuss sure, this sure, one, burn, law. Burn, burn my uh, argument. Yes, please. Just, just now you saying atrocity in the BJP government. Uh. But sir, you also forget it. Genocide in Jammu Kashmir in the government of you know but you don't describe no 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 i will i will but describe you explain, sir. even even in the congress party ruled uh, states atrocities against the rural tribes continue but sir you you left there in the 10 year of 10 years you sir <laughs> exactly but sir aapne jo 10 varsh beech ke upa ke shasan ke aapne chhod diye kya usme koi atrocity nahi hua only you are explain the bjp government why sir Okay, okay. I will, I will, I will answer your question. But sir, your topic in, is the empowered of the tribals, empowerment not, the of the tribal. not the BJP government. Secularism is also a basic nature actually. Sir. Okay, you must be centered on that, sir. Freedom of religion is one of the important rights. Life from birth till death is governed by religious practices. You cannot impose your religion on others. You cannot impose your culture on others. You cannot impose your religion, your culture, your language on the tribals. Tribal language, tribal cuisine, tribal cuisine. Tribal seed pork, tribal seed beef. I live in Meghalaya, you know, uh, sometimes there. Beef is very easily available in, in, in Meghalaya because they are different. You have to protect their culture. What I'm trying to say was, I was saying that a lot of atrocities are committed against them. You have seen, uh, you have seen uh, in Madhya Pradesh, one, one person uh, uh, 
uh, urinated on tribal people. Your your complaint is that I am not giving examples of violation of human rights or violation of atrocities during uh, Congress rule. You know when Tada Tada was passed, terrorist and disrupt uh, uh, disruption activities act. A question was asked in the parliament: How many people have been arrested under Tada, and in which state? The reply given in the parliament was very shocking. Highest number of people arrested under Tada are not in Punjab, for which this uh, Terrorist and Disruptive Activities Act was passed. It was in, uh, this question came in uh, 1983 in the parliament. Highest number of detainees under Tada were in Gujarat. And Gujarat had at that time Congress government and uh, two thirds of the arrested people under Tada in Gujarat were Muslims. No, there was no terrorism in Gujarat, neither in those days nor, he, nor uh, at present. What I mean to say is that every government, every government, whether it is Congress government, whether it is BJP government, tries to misuse its power commit atrocities on minorities, marginalized groups. And in case of the tribals and the scheduled tribes, one law was passed during Rajiv Gandhi's tenure in 1989. That law is prevention of atrocities against scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. POA, prevention of atrocities against scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. What this law says? This law says, if an atrocity has been committed against scheduled caste and scheduled tribe, and a complaint has come from either scheduled caste or scheduled tribe, it will be assumed that an atrocity has been committed. Ye maan liya jayega ke atrocity hui hai. You know, in law you have a you have a right presumption of innocence till proved guilty. Jab tak court mein sabit nahi hoga, aap atrocity nahi ki hai ya crime nahi ki hai lekin PO, PAO prevention of atrocities act ke tahet agar aap arrest hote hai so then it will be presumed that you have committed atrocity normally you know high caste people commit atrocity on scheduled caste or scheduled tribes sometimes this act may be misused and it has been misused but most of the times you know FIR lost is you know, based on truth and fact. If anybody is arrested under PAO, bail is not available. This is the only law in India where bail is not applicable for the crimes of atrocities against scheduled tribes, scheduled castes. Only court can decide the case. Special courts can be there. Number two, important feature of this law. Compensation has to be given by the state government or the central government if atrocity is committed. If a murder has been committed, if a woman has been raped, if their house has been burnt, compensation, financial compensation has to be immediately granted by the state government. You know, this kind of harsh law is there. Despite this harsh law, tribals are facing problem. I was, I was actually talking about, you know, the money lending problem in tribal areas, some rich people go with some money, one lakh, two lakh rupees, they give loan to tribals at exorbitant interest. One case I was reading, somebody borrowed uh, 10, uh, you know, 10,000 rupees, which became within three years, one lakh rupees with interest. And the person committed suicide. You know, the government should come with some, uh, you know, uh, what you can say, with soft loan provisions for scheduled tribes to, ha to have handicrafts. That's this debt problem. They are facing the de debt problem. Karza from money lenders. If you take bank loan, the bank sometimes waves off the loan, government waves off the loan. But if you take loan from the private people that cannot be waived off 
33 percentage of reservation also sometimes 50 percentage reservation to tribals in tribal state is given to the tribals in the panchayat institutions in the municipalities in the corporations and you know these tribals have to be in the long run integrated with the mainstream they are having they are feeling alienation that alienation will disappear if you are empowering the tribals if you are respecting their rights if you are implementing the constitutional provisions i i, I mentioned about tada you know uh, terrorist and disruptive activities act we had a five year planning uh, planning uh, commission earlier five year planning uh, uh, you know mechanism if you read the allocation of budget for the tribal welfare in all the five year plans lot of amount has been allocated huge amount has been allocated for the tribal welfare for the tribal development but on the ground results are not seen not visible there is lack of development i i visited arunachal pradesh i visited um, interior parts of northeast lot of poverty is there some of them are surviving on manrega no employment opportunities some 20 years ago i was addressing i was asked to address military not military paramilitary commandants crpf commandants in internal security academy of the home ministry in uh Rajasthan Mount Abu in Mount Abu there is an internal security academy we were addressing commandants who are fighting insurgency in northeast i was telling them that lot of money is being allocated for the development of the northeastern states then why this insurgency he said dr saab नॉर्थ ईस्ट में भी टाड़ा है और ये टाड़ा वो नहीं है जो पंजाब के लिए पास हुआ ये टाड़ा है जो पैसा अलोकेट हुआ है उसको कैसे खर्च करें उसके लिए मीटिंग्स होती हैं दिल्ली से लोग आते हैं कैपिटल सिटी से आते हैं और आधा पैसा टाड़ा में जाता है दैट टाड़ा इज टी ए डी ए ट्रेवल अलाउंस एंड डेली अलाउंस जस्ट इमेजिन मीन्स money is siphoned off corruption corruption is one of the important features uh, i i think uh, uh, rajiv gandhi's statement here his address to planning commission ki jab hum 1 rupya sanction karte hain to 5 paisa pahunchta hai beneficiary ke paas 90 you know the prime minister of india is saying it means there may be some truth maybe he has exaggerated i will say 50 percentage 50 percentage is going in the pockets of you know bureaucrats politicians and contractors there is an unholy alliance between these trinity ye teen log jo hain bureaucrats politicians and thekedars contractors half of the money is siphoned off by these people unless some uh, uh, strict measures of accountability are introduced pro anti corruption bureau pro cvc pro ed pro income tax then money can be spent on those projects for which the money has been sanctioned nowadays we are having rti right to information act we can ask where the money is spent earlier when when rti was not there most of the development projects were on in paper on on paper in in 19 uh, 1992 let me share uh, jeevan kumar ji one very interesting example in uh, the state of odisha where there was congress government earlier Congress government was spending some money on 
pig rearing for the scheduled tribes or for for christian community in one district in odisha and that district was having muslim population muslims don't eat pork indian express journalist khoji journalist investigative journalism he pointed out that the file shows that this money was spent on the, in this district and this district is not having uh, christian population it is having muslim population misuse of funds lot of misuse of funds has taken place during earlier congress congress uh, ruled states that is why the people of india i started with the preamble of the indian constitution i said the people of india are sovereign those sovereign people will defeat you last 3 months before there was election in rajasthan madhya pradesh chatisgarh can you know 21 sitting ministers sitting ministers were defeated in rajasthan gehlot governments ministers by people because they are corrupt congress no party is honest in india all political parties are highly corrupt so that is the reason why we are not able to uh, and 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 in delhi i am i am now today delivering lecture from delhi in delhi many families are having uh, uh, maids maids from jharkhand tribal communities can't we give them education can't can can others don't become uh, maids you know you exploit people in the name of uh your ethnicity tribal identity unless the constitutional provisions are uh enforced strictly there is a there is a fifth schedule and sixth schedule in the constitution of india autonomous regions are created in assam garo land autonomous region the local people the tribal people are autonomous but the problem is funds are not released by the state government gorkha land hesitation was there in 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 darjeeling because the tribals affected tribals they were not getting their rights enforced and autonomous uh, uh, gorkha land autonomous region has been created you know our constitution is best but we are not implementing those constitutional provisions friends i think uh, seven minutes are left and we can have it should not be a one way process many of you i have a question sir yeah sir my name is atish sharma atish sharma ji atish sharma yes, sir i am a assistant professor of physical education sir aapne north eastern states ki baat ki hmm. तो वहाँ पे एक ऐसा नियम है जो कि इनर लाइन परमिट और पीआरसी को लेकर के है इसके बारे में सर कुछ बताएंगे हमें यस yes, यस yes. जैसे डेवलपमेंट हो रहा है आ, आ, और ये सब इन्हें विशेष राज्य का दर्जा प्राप्त है इनके लिए स्पेशल ग्रांट जाती है वहाँ पे लेकिन yes. उसके बाद भी इनका डेवलपमेंट नहीं हो रहा है और जो डेवलपमेंट करने के लिए जो कॉरपोरेट है वो भी वहाँ जाना चाहते हैं लेकिन ये इनर लाइन परमिट और पीआरसी की वजह से वो बहुत ज्यादा वहाँ पे काम नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि वहाँ पे केवल लैंड वही आदमी खरीद सकता है जिसके पास परमानेंट रेजिडेंट सर्टिफिकेट यानी कि पीआरसी होगा ओके okay. तो कहीं ना कहीं इसके लिए जिम्मेदार वहाँ के नागरिक या वहाँ की जो गवर्नमेंट की जो पॉलिसीज है ट्राइबल्स की क्या वो जिम्मेदार नहीं है इसके लिए देखिये इंटरनल परमिट में पहली बार गया हुआ था पंद्रह साल पहले अरुणाचल प्रदेश तवांग तवांग में गया था तो इंटरनल परमिश परमिशन मुझको दिया गया था आई वाज गोइंग टू डिलीवर सम लेक्चर्स ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ एन एनजीओ कॉल्ड प्रज्ञा प्रज्ञा एक एनजीओ थी जो ब्रिटिश फंड से चल रही थी वहां पे ट्राइबल्स को ट्रेनिंग देना था एजुकेशन पे ह्यूमन राइट्स पे ट्राइबल राइट्स पे तो हम गए थे तो इंटरनल परमिशन व्हाई दिस इंटरनल परमिशन इज प्रोविजन इज देयर मेनी ट्राइबल एरियाज आर हैविंग लॉट ऑफ रिस्ट्रिक्शन जैसा आर्टिकल 370 था जम्मू कश्मीर में स्पेशल स्टेटस उस तरह के स्पेशल स्टेट नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट में है बाहर का आदमी वहां की लैंड नहीं खरीद सकता है 
वहां सेटल नहीं हो सकता है सेटल हो सकता है आप रेंटेड अकोमोडेशन में रहिए लेकिन आप यू नो द आइडिया इज दैट बाहर के लोग ज्यादा ना आए और वहां की कल्चर को खतरा ना हो वाई सी ए वॉज पास सी ए वॉज पास बिकॉज इन आसाम लॉट ऑफ बंगाली स्पीकिंग पीपल आर देयर बोथ हिंदू एंड मुस्लिम्स ओरिजिनली ये समझा गया था कि बांग्लादेश से आए हुए मुस्लिम ज्यादा हैं जब एनआरसी किया गया तो पता चला कि हिंदू ज्यादा हैं अब सरकार कह रही है कि भाई मुस्लिम तो जाएगा बंगाली स्पीकिंग मुस्लिम तो जाएगा दे विल बी एक्सपेल्ड कहा जाएगा नहीं पता हमें बट हिंदू हैव टू बी गिवन सिटीजनशिप यू नो यू कांट है लॉ saying that we will give citizenship only to hindus christians six from afghanistan from pakistan from bangladesh hindus persecuted hindus from sri lanka are not included in that that is one problem himachal pradesh mein bhi ye ye law hai aap himachal pradesh mein property nahi khareed sakte hain this is for the protection of the Uh, identity and culture of those people constitution of india allows that maybe after 100 years of 200 years you may withdraw those uh, uh, you know uh, special status lekin aapka jo sawal hai ki development kyun nahi hai wahan pe development isliye nahi hai humne indirectly bataya tha ki jo bhi paisa allocate hota hai central government se wo properly use nahi hota hai एक तो पीएडीए में जाता है आजकल तो पीएडीए में जाना ही नहीं चाहिए क्योंकि आप ऑनलाइन कर लीजिए सर वो तो जो आप हमारी रेटिंग ऑनलाइन चल रही है भारत सरकार मोदी जी जी की सरकार जो है आपका टीए बचा रही है आपका डीए बचा रही है मेरा टीए बचा रही है यू नो ऑनलाइन मीटिंग्स कैन बी कैन बी हेल्ड सेकेंडली अकाउंटेबिलिटी हैज टू बी देर वेदर यू नो ऑडिटिंग You have control and auditor general of India. State level पे internal audit होता है, external audit होता है. Accounting or or ये reports जो accounting का reports होते हैं, auditing के reports होते हैं, parliament में पेश होते हैं. Members of parliament are not interested. As I said, there is an excess between bureaucrats, politicians, and thakedars, contractors who carry on these projects. और डेवलपमेंट प्रोजेक्ट अगर एक लाख रुपए का काम है कोई प्रोजेक्ट टेंडर टेंडर होता है छह लाख रुपए का एक लाख खर्च करते हैं और बाकी का पैसा बट जाता है यू नो लाइक दिस यू नो करप्शन इज ईटिंग ईटिंग और इकोनॉमी व्हाई डोंट यू अप्लाई दिस डिस्प्रोपोर्शनेट असेट्स case to bureaucrats politicians and thakedars because they give they give you know uh, funds thakedars give funds political party ko funds dete hain isliye unpe koi action nahi hota hai and and you can you can bribe you can bribe uh, ed officers also abhi tamil nadu mein ed officer ko uh 8 10 lakh rupaye lete hue pakda gaya Stalin government arrested ED officers accepting the bribe. Sab chal raha hai. Desh mein sab chal raha hai. Yes, any other question, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. जी. मैं ये कहना चाहूँगी कि tribals मैं झारखंड में रहती हूँ. हाँ. और tribals जो है उनकी condition या MP में देखा जाए irrelevant of any government. वो पॉलिटिकल पार्टी से कोई मतलब है वो सिर्फ एक मास्क है जो डिफरेंट डिफरेंट में आता है अंग्रेजों के टाइम में भी यही हुआ कोई भी पार्टी की गवर्नमेंट रहे उन पे जुल्म होता ही रहा और उनका कोई डेवलपमेंट नहीं हुआ तो हम लोग किसी पार्टी को छोड़ दे उससे कोई फायदा नहीं है या जो अंग्रेज थे यूरोपियंस आए बाहर से या किसी भी पार्टी की गवर्नमेंट रही उनका कंडीशन बिल्कुल नहीं सुधर रहा है वो लोग भीख मांगते हैं दे आर बेगिंग और झारखंड तो ट्राइबल्स का था लेकिन ट्राइबल्स जो है बिल्कुल श्रिंक कर गए हैं और जो आपने कहा जिनको केक मिला है बस उनको ही केक मिला है 
और जो बहुत मतलब वन परसेंट से भी बहुत मतलब वन परसेंट भी नहीं पॉइंट वन परसेंट है जो वेल डेवलप्ड है ट्राइबल्स में और बाकी सब वही है तो इसका क्या सॉल्यूशन है देखिए एक एक सोल्यूशन है कई लोगों ने कई पॉलिसी एक्सपर्ट्स ने सजेशन दिया है कि ये जो रिजर्वेशन जो चल रहा है शेड्यूल कास्ट और शेड्यूल ट्राइब का पिछले पचहत्तर सालों में इसकी एक साइंटिफिक स्टडी होनी चाहिए कि इसका कितना बेनिफिट कम्युनिटी को कम्युनिटी लेवल पे हो रहा है या इंडिविजुअल लेवल पे हो रहा है आई विल गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल महाराष्ट्र में 400 सौ शेड्यूल कास्ट हैं, 400 हंड्रेड शेड्यूल कास्ट आते हैं जैसा हमने कहा कि 500 सौ ट्राइबल कम्युनिटीज हैं अलग अलग कम्युनिटीज हैं महाराष्ट्र गवर्नमेंट के गवर्नमेंट जॉब्स सारे गवर्नमेंट जॉब्स 80 परसेंटेज गवर्नमेंट जॉब्स है गॉन टू ओनली वन कास्ट दैट इज महार कास्ट एंड दैट महार कास्ट इज ए कास्ट ऑफ अम्बेडकर अंबेडकर की कास्ट वाले पूरे 80 परसेंटेज केक महाराष्ट्र में खा गए और बाकी के 399 शेड्यूल कास्ट इन महाराष्ट्र आर नॉट अवेलिंग और नॉट गिवन रिजर्वेशन दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम दैट इज व्हाई आई सेड आई हैड मेड वन ऑफ दी पॉलिसी रिकमेंडेशन के भाई अगर फादर को रिजर्वेशन मिला है तो बेटे को नहीं मिलना चाहिए किसी और फैमिली को दे दो बाबा बाबू जगजीवन राम फ्रॉम बिहार उनको रिजर्वेशन का इतना फायदा होगा पैंतीस साल तक कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट के पैंतीस साल थर्टी फाइव इयर्स और उनकी बेटी मीरा कुमार को आईएफएस में रिजर्वेशन मिलता है क्यों मिलना चाहिए बताइए आप मुझको मीरा कुमार को रिजर्वेशन नहीं मिलना चाहिए था किसी और गरीब फैमिली को दीजिए रिजर्वेशन एक साइंटिफिक स्टडी की जाए और पता किया जाए कि किस तरह से इलीट कम्युनिटी शेड्यूल कास्ट में शेड्यूल ट्राइब में एमर्ज हुआ बिकॉज ऑफ रिजर्वेशन और इस इलीट क्लास को बैन कीजिए आप हमारे दलित फ्रेंड्स एक्सपर्ट्स कहते हैं साहब डिस्क्रिमिनेशन फाइनेंशियल ग्राउंड पे नहीं होता है डिस्क्रिमिनेशन कास्ट पे होता है तो इसीलिए कास्ट हैज टू बी क्राइटेरिया बट इकोनॉमिक फैक्टर ऑल्सो हैज टू बी सीन अगर आप मिनिस्टर हैं तो आप अपने बच्चों को कहें फॉरेन में भी पढ़ा सकते हैं ये गरीब दलित गरीब ट्राइबल नॉट अफोर्ड टू सेंड देर चिल्ड्रन टू इवन द गवर्नमेंट स्कूल्स देखिए मैं एक यूनिवर्सिटी में आजकल मेघालय में एक प्राइवेट यूनिवर्सिटी में एमरिटस प्रोफेसर हूं उस प्राइवेट यूनिवर्सिटी में एम करने के लिए ईच सेमिस्टर फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ट्यूशन फीस दे दो साल एमए करने के लिए तीन लाख रुपया खर्च होगा जब हमने एमए किया था तो हमारा मुश्किल से ऑफ कोर्स इन्फ्लेशन आजकल बहुत ज्यादा है मुझे लगता है कि हम मेरे ख्याल में दो या तीन हजार रुपए या पांच हजार रुपए में एमए किया होगा आज तीन लाख रुपए में एमए करना पड़ रहा है प्राइवेट में हमने तो गवर्नमेंट के यूनिवर्सिटी में किया सरकारी इंस्टीट्यूशन में किया जब हम जब हम पीएचडी करते थे जवाहरलाल नेहरू यूनिवर्सिटी में 40 साल पहले हमारा रूम रेंट था बारह रुपया हमारी ट्यूशन रुपया थी बारह रुपया आजकल एक चाय भी नहीं आती है बारह रुपये में प्राइवेट यूनिवर्सिटी आज भी जे में ट्यूशन फी कम है अकोमोडेशन का रेंट कम है तो हम गवर्नमेंट के इसमें पढ़ सकते हैं प्राइवेट में नहीं पढ़ सकते हैं लेकिन मेनी ट्राइबल्स आर नाउ स्टडिंग इन प्राइवेट यूनिवर्सिटीज आल्सो पेइंग थ्री लाख रुपीस फॉर टू इयर्स पैसा तो है लोगों के पास ओनली द रिच ट्राइबल्स आर सेंडिंग देयर चिल्ड्रन टू दिस सच प्राइवेट इंस्टीट्यूशंस दे मे बी फाइव परसेंटेज नाइंटी परसेंटेज ऑफ द ट्राइबल्स आर पुअर टेन परसेंटेज ऑफ द ट्राइबल्स आर रिच विजयपुर सर इट्स थर्टी टाइम हो गया सर, सर। 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 स